What we want to know is a little bit about um, the group here. So um, I'm assuming some of you are consultants. So the question is, how many of you are internal to an organization and consulting? OK. How many are external? OK. We will, at some point today, possibly get your group profile. We're trying to figure out exactly how to do that. But we will get there. And um, the other thing, we just wanted to open up a little bit of discussion because we're very fluid. I mean, we have slides and we have our activities, but the way I usually work with presentations and agendas and meetings, if there's something you want and we can give it to you and it's not on the agenda, we rip the agenda up and go wherever you need us to go. Um, so, so it would be helpful if um, you, some of you could share um, why is it that you're here Great. this morning? Great. Um, so it's a, a new arena for you in terms of bringing the SDI to healthcare. Great. Excellent. Anybody else? Yes. Well, I coach physicians and I don't meet many people who coach physicians, so I'm just really intrigued by your approach and style. Oh, and great. Knowledge. Okay, great. And we're always looking for good coaches. That is one thing we haven't talked about yet, what we are developing a whole program, leadership development program for physicians and executives in healthcare. Um, yes? Yeah, my consulting firm really focuses on purpose-driven organizations and you know, with better industry than that. Yeah, excellent, really. Yeah, and it's really changing rapidly. Yeah. Anybody else? Yes. And I'm working with uh, a group that's uh, going through what a lot of people in the country are, I think, in terms of who owns who uh, in physicians and hospitals versus medical groups and private practice. Yes. And, uh, integration of that and trying to help lead them down the path that's productive. Oh, outstanding. And you know that's happening now, that the communities of physicians, outpatient groups, surgery groups, et cetera, they're all sort of aligning now yes. in different pockets of, of groups. It's really going to be a very different, very different picture five to ten years now in healthcare. It's starting, uh, but it's going to be really different. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about the inline, uh, alignment of incentive um, yes. progress that's going on? It's another whole new way of, uh, of incenting and trying to get the different levels of healthcare practitioners and administrators to really be a team. Because right now it's, it, it can be very divided. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yes. I think another area, I work in healthcare as well, another area that we're struggling with too is uh, more patient centered, uh, drawing the patient family into the mix and figuring out how to use the SDI in that whole change that's going on. Excellent. Excellent. Wow, that's, yeah. Yes? I'm in the dental field, and there are different models than healthcare. Mm -hmm. But um, what I'm seeing is that there are definitely gaps between quality team members wanting to work with the dental leaders. There are no dental leaders that know enough to work with quality people. Mm -hmm. And long enough, they just, the team members are constantly jumping around, and it's because of that gap in communication. So mm -hmm. the SDI, Definitely. Excellent. Um, yeah. Good uh, tool. About managing a company, managing people, managing budgets. I mean, it's a whole, you know, you don't learn that in medical school um, or dental school, running your own practice and then bringing other people in. So yeah. if you read your little, um, uh, the sort of uh, summary of what we were going to accomplish today, here's our goal. Um, we, we do and will be telling you about how uh, relationship awareness theory and the related instruments are being used successfully, very successfully, in healthcare. The, the surgeons and the nurses in the OR, the emergency departments, all the different areas. And I, I, I kind of facetiously, um, surgeons and everybody else, I will tell you they are in a group unto themselves in a, in a lot of ways and, um, and I will tell you one, one story. One of the things that I do as part of my work is that I do um, shadowing, um, I do observations of physicians, I actually go into ORs, operating rooms and watch, I don't watch the surgeries because I'd probably faint, but I watch the interactions. Um, and typically, if I come in, I'm in scrubs, but they, they want to know who you are. 
So uh, they may not come up to me and say, hello, who are you? They'll ask somebody else to go find out who she is and, t and come and tell me. Well, in, in some of the cases, they don't care. They see you, they know you don't belong there, but they figure you're from a visiting hospital or you're from a university and you, I'm God and you want to come and watch me do my masterpiece here. And so they're frequently, I stand there, nobody has a clue who I am. So this one experience that I had among many, and sometimes you hear, but Susan, he brings in $40 million a year to this place. Let me just talk to him. He's checked out. Didn't you do that? Beginning in 2009, there is now a JCO requirement around behavior and what is inappropriate behavior and if it is, if there is founded inappropriate behavior, what are the consequences? You have to document that in order to, to get your certification. You have to document, and here's where you all come in, seriously, you have to document as a system that you are doing something every single year to educate not just the administrators and the nurses and the, the physicians, the surgeons. You have to document that they have had some kind of training around managing relationships in the work that they do. Yes. How many of you measure uh, employee opinion or employee climate assessments or access that data? So that can also be an impetus to bring the SDI in. Um, many of us measure conflict. There's actually a, a question related to conflict, so we've used that number to look at. Time, because um. of the turnover, we then were starting to build an executive team profile. Right? So, um, and, and when I've interviewed people after the fact, they said, yeah, you made us do that, but we're, we were happy uh, that you did. And the perception, which is a huge part of this tool, is that we're still well and we're doing great. Yeah. Great point, great point. So um, with the executive team, actually, I asked a question as I was interviewing folks, so how do you folks deal with conflict? And one of the messages I got back was, well, we don't have it. <laughs> uh, it just starts a process where the differences become valued. Um, we also talk about, so if this is where you are, what are the demands facing the organization or department now and what strengths do you need to leverage to better address them? And who within your team has those strengths that you can call on? So what we're going to spend the rest of the time is what we've actually done, how we sort of introduced the SDI into the organization, mm -hmm. how we've used it. And then we will stop talking. And you will be working on case studies um, with some profiles. So now